What's up guys and gals? What we have here is a little screen protector for that giant 12 inch screen uh, from the OCDplug.com. I've used several different ones uh, from other folks, stuff you get off of Amazon, eBay and whatnot. And this right here is really the best. They give you everything you need, give you a couple cards here to be able to level it out, give you a little spray bottle because it is a wet application and then a microfiber cloth here. Uh, you just need to put just a drop of soap in this, like Dawn dish soap, fill it up with a little bit of warm water, and then you'll be able to set this bad boy in place. It really couldn't be easier. Now it's gonna take a couple days for the bubbles and stuff to totally get out, everything to evaporate, uh, but you can kind of speed that up if you're brave and if you're very careful with a hair dryer. Please don't use a heat gun because it's too easy to go out of out of whack and ruin your display. But if you want to use a hair dryer and just kind of get it barely warm, it does not need to be hot. You got to think this thing's inside the car on a summer day. So if you just get it warmed up with a hair dryer, it shouldn't be anywhere close to the temperature it would get on a hot summer day in the car. But I definitely would not use your heat gun because it's too easy. To, to ruin it. And if you get it too hot, you've ruined a, God knows how much the radio cost. So uh, this is gonna be easy. We're gonna get to installing this here in just a second. Simple application, lining it up is really the hardest part, getting it squeegeed out without it moving around. So let's get started in the truck. All right, so in the truck here, what you're gonna wanna do is take you a good glass towel and you need to get this thing really clean, all right? So you don't have to go too awfully crazy because we got the alcohol swab coming up and that's where you really want to get every section of it totally clean. This one right here ain't that dirty. So it's gonna be fairly easy and you can look at it through different angles. Make sure there ain't no little pieces of microfiber towel or anything like that on the screen itself. And that's pretty good with that. So they give you this as like a final wipe. This is something that you can keep in here. This will help you after you've get this installed and everything's dry in the future to be able to wipe the screen and clean it very easily. Even though, you know, these things don't really attract fingerprints or anything hardly at all. Uh, what I've found in the last two cars that I've used it in. So I've got all the crud and fingerprints and stuff off of it. I really don't see any lint. So move on to the next step, and this is alcohol swab. Make sure you get the edges really well. Go to the screen this way, get my edges again, and I'm gonna turn over to the fresh side, go up and down. This is what's gonna ensure there's no oils or anything on here that's gonna prevent the screen protector from sticking. All right, so once you get that done, you take this here and I go this away, and up and down, and it's alcohol, so it ought to dry pretty fast. It'll look a little smudgy, but then that's what you go back with this towel. Make sure you get it all off. This needs to be 100% clean, ready to go, no lint. That's what you're using this towel for because it's a, a lint-free and it doesn't have those little things. Even though that glass towel is lint-free, I just make sure I use the thing that comes in the kit, make sure that I don't have any issues. All right, that looks really good. So also what I've got here, is since I'm spraying a little bit of water, I'm gonna put this towel and try to make sure that I collect it. It's not gonna be perfect, but some's gonna drip down on this particular one. Uh, like on the Ford Explorer, it went back behind. I don't think this is gonna go behind the screen, but still, I put one drop of Dawn dish soap in here and then filled it up with warm water and just kind of worked it back and forth because you don't want it to be all foamed up. 
then what are you get what you're gonna do is take your screen protector here and get the edge started up. Spray the edge so you can work this out. And you don't want your fingerprints and stuff on it, so make sure you spray any section of this before you touch it with your fingers. As you're taking it out, make sure you're spraying it. Make sure the sprayer's turned towards what you're trying to spray. Put your thumb on the screen there. And let's start lining this bad boy up. You're gonna have a little bit of playroom, so get it as close to centered as possible. All right, once you get it close to centered as possible, you can take your squeegee here, start in the center, and start working this water out. You still wanna be holding it where you're gonna hold it at, because there's still a lot of water under it, and do not press hard. And to be very gentle because it's going to be easy to be moved at this point. So very gently working this water out from the center where you started at to the edges and to the bottom and get everything worked out. And this one's looking really good. All the way to the edges. Once more over the whole thing here. Right. Let me take this, kind of get very gently get this excess spray up here. Oh, right, yeah, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look like there's too many bubbles. Now you can be a little more aggressive. Don't press too hard, but be a little more aggressive with your card here. And you should really start at the top. Don't do like I just did and start at the bottom. Oh yeah, this is better than what the uh, Explorer, the Explorer had several bubbles back behind it that Took two or three days to dry out, but they did go away and dry out. Oh yeah. That looks pretty much perfect. I don't think I'm going to uh, even have to go find my wife's hair dryer. Got one little spot here. And it's like I said, if you don't want to work with this stuff like this, it's fine. It's gonna come out. Oh yeah, that looks perfect. All right, let's get you in here. You can see, almost no bubbles. Let's see, what's this? That might be a little water back behind it, but that's really not an issue. Everything looks really good, lined up. As you can see, it puts like a, a matte sheen on it. And it's going to reduce glare, but it's almost like it makes the image clearer when it comes to, I mean, it's, it's crazy. You would think that with this coating and sheen that it wouldn't be as clear, but it seems like it's more clear after you put this on. Now it's going to take a day or two to dry. It's going to look a little, a little hazy for a couple of days until it gets all dried out. But after that, it's going to be perfect. And, uh, you don't have to worry about fingerprints or anything anymore. All right. So <laughs> I was sitting there editing the video and I had to come back out here because I realized I didn't, never did even turn the screen on. Uh, this looks so good. I'm not even going to get out my wife's hair dryer. There's no, I mean, it looks really good. Any little bitty stuff here and there is going to come out over the next day or two. It's not really a big deal. I'll show you what it looks like with it on. As you can see, even before it dries, I mean, it still looks great. And I'm in my garage, so it's gonna be in, in night mode right now. 
but when you're out in the sun man this anti-glare is perfect and then the fingerprint resistance even better than perfect so the ocd plug i've put one of these on every vehicle that i've had since i found their company a few years ago uh back with the i think the hellcats where i found this and a uh, good friend of mine or used to be a friend of mine i used to talk to him a lot more actually uh, honestly ocd he's on youtube too uh great guy he kind of introduced me to this company and since i tried one on a charger i've had it ever since they work spectacular i may even get one for this center right here so that's the install really simple it's just kind of tedious just making sure everything's clean make sure you take your time making sure the edges and all is lined up because it's cut almost exactly to fit this screen there's very little room for error so you want to make sure that you know everything's perfect if you're not confident in doing it yourself then get you some help and i can tell you if you get it all crooked i did on my charger you can peel up one edge here and just make sure when you peel it up with the little plastic uh like credit card looking thing they give you spray it spray everything as soon as you peel it up you peel it up spray it really good with your solution uh, before you touch anything with your fingers spray it with the solution and make sure you have it sprayed uh, it's even a better idea to wear gloves if you have some but as long as you have it sprayed good and your hands are washed and clean and the screen's clean you'll be just fine uh, i've sopped up all the water i can get but you notice there's a little bit as it dries it's going to come out just a little on the bottom there but i don't really have any bubbles or anything and everything looks great so thanks everybody for watching there's more videos and stuff that's coming as i do things to this truck uh, man i don't even know what all i'm gonna do this truck probably a level kid i don't know if i want to drop the rear raise the front or what i want to do uh, but much more videos to come hopefully in a year or two i'm gonna be looking at uh supercharger kits and stuff to put on this i really want to supercharge this truck uh later on but that's in the future i'm sorry for that weird camera angle anyway the ocd plug great stuff go check it out the link for it's gonna be in the description like share the videos whatever you want to do with them thank you